Right, here we have uh, a graph of uh, f of x is x squared minus 2x minus 1. Okay, and we're going to change uh, c, h, p, and q. You're advised to watch the videos which come before this, um, explaining what each of these do individually on their own. So if we click here to see the image, so at the moment we have the p and q are at 1, so basically we've got y is equal to f of x. Now what happens if we change them? Well, if we change h, we know that we get a shift. Okay, so let's put that at 3 for a moment, and that does a horizontal translation free units. If we change q, say for 2, then what happens in this? So here we've got, we're looking at the case of f of 2x minus 3 and this is probably the most difficult situation you might come across what do you do first do you do the translation or do you do the stretch which is a stretch factor um, a half okay well what you have to do first is the translation so let's just see how that works if I take that point there p okay and translate translate it uh, three units this way so it's one two three that will go to there and then if I do the stretch, that will mean that I would have to half of four, which is that distance there. Okay. So let's take this point here. Okay, so this point is three, uh, three, two. So the translation of three units will take that green point to there. Then half of that would be to uh, there. So basically you have to make sure when you've got th this uh, uh, for about the, uh, qx minus h you do means do a translation h0 followed by a stretch parallel to the x-axis scale factor is always 1 over q. Okay and then the p changing p will stretch it according normally to to the y-axis so here we've got uh, let's not take 2.5 let's take to for example uh, originally it, it was two units away and now it becomes four okay and adding c to it will mean moving it up or down so that's going up five units uh, after doing the translation after doing the stretch compared with the parallel to the x-axis scale factor uh, one half that will now then stretch uh, then stretching it uh, two units with the uh, parallel to the y-axis and then adding five to the result so first second third fourth okay in that order okay so i've got this uh, video this uh, applet here which i can put in the notes of the video the most difficult bit is this here um, so you can use the GeoGebra uh, app to um, help help yourselves. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.